I'm Nick with DuramaxTuner.com. We're here for another uh, installment of DTQA, where we answer questions from you, our customers and fans, about stuff that interests you. With me, I have Bob Peterson and Owen Powell. Our question today comes from Wade Fafness. Wade wants to know if there are any good bolt-on turbo upgrades for his LLY. Pretty common question. Yep. Yep. Um, and I mean, my first question to Wade would be, what is he using the truck for? What kind of power level are you looking for? And uh, how, you know, ultimately, how much are you looking to spend? But um, you know, let's talk about your basic, your basic turbo upgrade. Let's talk about the guy keeping his stock fuel system. Yeah, exactly. That, that's the first question, too, on top of what does he use the truck for and power is, are you staying with the stock fuel system? Because yep. pretty much any turbo you add to the truck is going to get you up to that limit of the factory fuel system, which is around 600 horse, give or yep. take the, how strong the pump is. Yep. Um, so, I mean, if he never plans on doing injectors in the truck or pushing it any further, there's no reason to go bigger. You'd want to stay with the, about the smallest upgrade from stock than you can because physically any bigger you go, you need more volume of exhaust to drive that and that means lag. So, I mean, that's the big thing is if you're towing, you're driving the truck, you want to keep that lag as minimal as possible so the truck's fun to drive, it stays cool, it tows nice and everything like that. Exactly. So we want to pick a turbocharger that hits that maxes out at the horsepower level that maxes out Wade's fuel, sy or, uh, Wade's fuel system. You know, if, if 600 horsepower is it, we really don't need more than a 63 millimeter compressor wheel. That's going to make the thing spool awesome. There's some really cool, um, you know, fleece anvil. Um, there's some other guys out there with um, aftermarket variable vanes that run the 63 millimeter wheel. And that's pretty much your first step from stock too. Is yep. that 63? You know, the Cheetah, the Danville, whatever. Yep. Um, they don't use the big turbine that the 4094 does. Right. Um, the they're big snappy. thing that we see is 4094s are the go-to because they're a little cheaper, but they are physically bigger, so yeah. that's going to affect your lag again. It's a there, 68 so. wheel, and they just they don't drive as nice as the 63s. But, Owen, why don't you tell me, when we're in there doing the turbocharger, I mean, what other things what other things are we going to want to do when we're in there doing the turbocharger? Uh, another good thing to do um, is to update the, the Y-Bridge. Um, the stock ones have a factory, um, it's a push-in inlet, um, and once you start putting aftermarket turbos and stuff on higher boost levels, they tend to blow out, so um, getting a welded Y-bridge uh, is Avoid good. the boost leaks. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's a good, uh, good place to start, along with a, um, like a three-inch intake tube for, yep. to, to complement that, so yep. it's a good place to start with that. Yeah. So keep the VVT upgrade. The, I think the message here is keep the VVT if you can. Um, pick the compressor wheel that matches your fuel system and upgrade the Y bridge and intercooler pipes, especially in the LOY and, and the air intake piece. Uh, you probably throw a downpipe on it too. Later there. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a capstone right there. I think we'll call it good right there. Hopefully that answers your question, Wade. Thanks for watching. I'm Bob. I'm Owen. I'm Nick. See you next time. <laughs>